is. Today's video is going to be a requested video and it's one that I re get requested by you guys quite often. And the topic of this video is pretty much what I have deemed myself being a domestic diva or what some of you would consider being a glam mom. Um, the individual that requested it actually sent me an email and it was a very very sweet email and her name is Terea or Terea I believe it's pronounced Terea but either way let me know that I'm pronouncing it right and hey girl so I'm getting around to the video and I do apologize for taking an extra couple days to get it done but I definitely got caught up doing a couple things not as expected, but hey, it comes with the territory. So I'm not going to do too much of a long intro. I'll just jump right in. If you're going to be a stay-at-home mother like myself, then you really, really, really have to figure out your time management. Meaning you have to figure out it's going to be breakfast time, lunch time, dinner time, snack time. Children are going to need time to play. Um... My son, when he went to pre-K, he already knew how to write his name. He knew how to spell it. He knew his birthday. He knew all of those things because I took the time to teach it to him. And then I actually had flashcards that I wrote, um, not wrote, I purchased flashcards. And I was trying to help him kind of like with his reading, even though he was only going to uh, pre-K. He wasn't necessarily in kindergarten just yet at the time. And um, what I started doing was showing him the word, not the picture. I would show him the word and I would say, hey, you know, Wesley, what, what word is this? And even though he didn't know it, I would point to each word and say it's Apple. And this is the flashcard. I would, I would spell the word out and I would say A-P-P-L-E, you know, and I'm like, this is Apple. So to surprisingly enough it was just something i was trying out and i figured that would be the way that i wanted to teach it to him he started seeing the word first and he started being able to read the word without seeing an actual picture of an apple and it just made me so proud i still remember when me and my husband were going to a doctor's appointment when i was pregnant with giselle at the time and they had like this little board where the children can like write with their finger on the board and he wrote his name out and he's like babe you know he just wrote his name and I'm looking at him like oh my god so he is picking up on the things I'm teaching him because that's another thing you have to be really patient with the kids because if it's their first time starting to see these things just know that they're not going to get it right off the bat however Children tend to pay attention to things and they might not show you that they're picking up on it, but they might surprise you and randomly just doing this like, oh, so the work we're doing at home is paying off. So needless to say, that was one of my proudest moments, especially being a stay-at-home mom. Um, you want to get the potty training, Lord. With my son, I had him potty training a week when I stopped working. My two-and-a-half-year-old, I was told that girls are actually easier. No, she's not easier. She will go to the bathroom if I put her on the potty. But it's now we're just trying to get her to constantly tell us she has to go to the bathroom before she goes and not after she's already done it. I don't know. This girl is so smart. She picks up on everything, any and everything. She is like so the, the girl is just so smart but for whatever reason with the potty training she's just kind of like going to pick it up in her own time and I just have to be consistent with her but when she stayed the night with my mother-in-law my mother-in-law called us and said you know Giselle told me she had to use the bathroom and she actually went so my husband's like I just think she likes giving you a hard time <laughs> right so I pretty much talked about you know the in-home um time management you know Making time for dinner. Believe it or not, I don't cook that often. My husband does more cooking than I do for the most part. And it's simply because he enjoys it. I was lucky enough to find a man who loves to cook. He likes cooking. That's just something he likes to do in his downtime. He likes figuring out different recipes. And my mother-in-law is a really good cook. And it was something that she taught him. So it's kind of like just something that he enjoys. But it is something that he grew up knowing and watching his mom and his grandma do. And, you know, he's the one that does it. So for the most part, if I'm cooking at home, then I'll start cooking. And when he comes home, he'll help me. Another thing that we do from time to time is we'll look up recipes and we'll actually cook together. So... That comes into time management as well because 
being married and having multiple children, trying to find time as husband and wife is sometimes slim to none. Considering my husband works a extremely busy schedule, uh, I, when I was taking all my clients on, before I decided to fall back a little bit as far as my, my taking clients, things just get so crazy whereas we might live together but it feels like we're not really living together until the weekend comes and that weekend might for us be a Sunday. So it's very, very, very important that you realize being married and when you start adding more children into the mix that you do find that time to have that husband and wife time. For us, we try to do going on a date once a month and we started doing it that kind of fell off and it's not always that easy for us to find babysitters either. Um, if you can find a babysitter and a designated babysitter, most people... If you un explain to them, like, you know, we haven't been out in a while, we would really like for you to take the child, the children, or a, or a child if you only have one, just let them know that, you know, you just want to try to make some time for just you guys. But we have not had a date night, just the two of us, since, I want to say Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine's Day. And it's getting ready to be July. <laughs> and our anniversary, our wedding anniversary is this month. So maybe I'll get a date this month. But honestly, that's not that important to me and my husband. Like, if we can get time where it's just late at night, the two of us, we can lay down, we can watch a movie together. We're cool with that. We don't always feel like we have to be out somewhere. You're going to get people who will not understand that. You're going to get people like, oh, just come out with us. You know, y'all always this or, you know, just let such and such watch them. It's always easier for people to say that when they either A, only have one child, B, have multiple children, or C, don't have any children at all. And the best thing I can tell you to do is forget them. Don't pay them any mind because they're never going to understand it. Trying to constantly explain to people that we just don't get that time. We can't just up and go out. You know, sometimes it's harder to just go out and have a date because now you got to go. You got to pick the children up if they're not going to spend the night. You got to get them home. You know, sometimes they get whiny because it's late and they were either already asleep and now you're trying to get them. You know, for us, if they stay out and we're going to pick them up, they'll be dressed, you know, have their baths and their pajamas. And then, you know, we bring them home and put them in our beds. But sometimes we really just don't feel like that. We would rather have our little special time after the children go to sleep or early in the morning before they get up, you know, have coffee or something together like that. Another thing that you can do as far as managing time uh, with, being a married couple or a couple that's dating or an engaged couple with children is we have been working out together. A lot of you know that I've been doing the Black Girls Workout too. I did really good my first two months. Um, I was really consistent with it and I definitely saw results as far as toning, um, the stomach flattening out, the booty lifting. That booty will lift, I'll tell you with that. And then I did start missing days, which I didn't really knock myself for it because I am like, I get really busy. And I can be in the house all day long and have not sitting down like <laughs> all day. It's crazy how you can have multiple children and get so busy in the house and people really just think that you just lounge around all day. But then when you start explaining to them everything you do, like... I'm running a YouTube channel, I have clients, I have research that I have to do, I have schooling that I'm trying to get done, you know, homework for that. It's a lot of stuff that I have to do. And Lord, just cleaning my house alone because I am, I feel like I'm pretty much OCD-ish at times. You know, when I get up in the morning, my bed has to be made. If I leave out of my house and I come back in, I don't want to walk in and there's a messy living room. It just kind of stresses me out when I leave out of my house. I'm out with the kids. I'm paying attention to them. I got to see what's going on. You know, me and my husband might be out running errands all day. Or he might have clients. Or if I had a client. When you come home from a long day, you don't want to come home to a messy house. Because when you come home, you want to be able to just relax. And if I can't do that, it'll stress me out. And I'm now agitated and frustrated. Because now I'm trying to rush and clean up. And that's the one thing that you know, keeping organization in the house will help you as far as managing your cleaning. Set up a schedule, um, have certain days where you wash clothes. And I try to do that. I actually have to set days where I wash multiple clothes. And for me, 
for a family of five is two days a week. Honestly, I could wash clothes. I could do a couple loads of clothes every day, truth be told. But I try not to wa run my washer and dryer that often. But yes, two there are two days a week. Um, and normally I try to do it Wednesdays and Saturdays are my days where I try to do my wash days. Sometimes that stuff gets backed up and then I find myself, you know, three days in a row I'm trying to catch up on laundry, be it towels, wash rags, you know, clo work clothes or, you know kids pajama you know just different things like that them the laundry builds up you know cooking everything really comes into play when you have children and for us you know when our son goes to school he's in school 7 30 in the morning and then he's coming home at four well he's getting out at about four so he still now has homework that has to get done you know, before he eats dinner or right after dinner or whatever. And then we still have to put in that time where we're spending time with him before he goes off to bed. By then, he's pretty much exhausted. He's ready to just go to sleep on his own anyway. But we do set a bedtime for him. And me and my husband are still trying to get our own bedtime down packed. Because me and him sometimes, well, 90% of the time, we're not going to bed till like 2 or 3. And then my husband's getting up like 5 or 5.30. Just so that he can get to the barbershop. So we're really running on very minimal sleep. And it's bad. It's a bad habit. But it's just what it is for us right now. Like we really have a lot to do. And people just really just don't understand that. And I, I, and, and as a mother you'll notice. And you'll get frustrated a lot. Because people will try to downplay the things that you have to do. And it's a lot. It's it's really much it's a lot and then when you get people who really aren't willing to help you and they want to throw in their two cents and opinions you just pretty much chuck them out and don't pay them any money one of the most important time managements i would say as a mother is making time specifically for yourself be it time to paint your fingernails you know you want to do a little spa night for yourself uh be it a facial taking a nice hot bubble bath reading a book i have the kindle app on my phone so I actually, you know, purchase my books off of Amazon and I'll read them. Uh, it's just many different things. Find something that you enjoy. That's maybe, you know, if it's makeup, pulling out an eyeshadow palette and doing a makeup look before taking a shower. You know, that way you can just wash it off. Just you have to find that time where you can do something specifically for you. A lot of times I do forget that. But every single time just about when I leave my house, there's rarely a time I leave and I didn't sit at my vanity, even if it's just to put on some mascara and lip gloss. And I like to do that because I feel like when I leave out of my house, if I feel like I took those extra minutes to give myself those little fluff I, I, I would I consider you fluffing yourself up being you know you put some mascara on you put some lip gloss on when you take the time to do that it does give you an extra pep in your step so while you're out when I even though I might be a little bit frustrated or I have so much to do I when I feel better I when I look better I feel better I do not go outside with pajamas on or you know if I wear a scarf it's going to be like a decorative scarf or, or scarf or something like that and truth be told recently I just started doing that when I cut my hair and that's only because with me having blonde hair I tend to not want to mess around with it and fuss with it too much because I don't want it to have any damage or anything like that. So I do try to do protective styling even with having a really short haircut. For me, uh, mommy time could be simply this, taking the time to film a video. It's so many different things that you can do. It's just seriously finding the time for it. Um syncing syncing your schedules up on the phones on or having a calendar i have a calendar up right over my vanity and as soon as a doctor's appointment comes up i write it down i put it in my phone or my husband's phone uh our doc our doctors well the for our children the pediatrician they actually give us a reminder call which helps out a lot because sometimes we may forget um and they'll call so those are just some different things and I know I'm going to end up doing multiple videos for this because right now I'm just going off the type of my head, you know, the things that 
stand out to me the most that I remember. But I, I definitely think that I'll be doing a Domestic Diva series as far as just sharing different things. As far as, you know, what you can do to manage things or what new adventures I might be getting into. Recently, I have started sewing. And I absolutely love it. I My husband purchased a sewing machine for me on Mother's Day. And if you follow me on Keek or Instagram, then you've seen some of the things that I have done. I did record videos, but I will say that a lot of times if I post a picture or something, everyone wants a tutorial. And for me, sewing right now, I don't really care to do a tutorial for it. Just like with the nails before, you know, I, I want to play around with it first. Just so I can get some of the lingo and the techniques down pack first because I don't want to be confused explaining in a video it kind of turns me off when I watch a video and someone doesn't necessarily they they know how to do it but they don't know how to explain it to you so it kind of gets you so confused so that's why most of the time if it's a new craft for me then I'll show you pictures just to give you an idea of what I'm doing um but I don't like to do a step-by-step -step until I get comfortable enough where I can just run it down and explain it to you. And it's like reading it off the, you know, like it's like the back of my hand. I can explain it to you. But yeah, definitely do those mommy time things. I say find you an everyday makeup routine. Even if it's just a little bit of blush on the cheeks, you know, some powder, some blush, lip gloss, and some mascara. Something that you can do quick and out the door. Get up earlier if you have to because having children with us we have to get up about four hours early to get everyone dressed and out the door in time to be where we need to be at on time and sometimes we're still running late and I I hate running late but it just happens and it's something I'm still trying to get used to but it does frustrate me when we do and my husband likes to be punctual and it drives him nuts when we're running late anywhere that we have to be but at the same time, it really does just come with the territory. <laughs> now, I'll touch on the uh, clothing. And then this will probably be the end of the video because I don't want to make it too long. But as far as dressing myself, I get a lot of people are like, you're so fashionable to be a mom. How do you do it? I try to find things that I try not to purchase items that I feel like are going to make me feel real blah. I try to purchase color unless it's something all black. And, you know, working with my clients, for the most part, I wear all black to all my jobs. But uh, I try to find things that make me feel good. I actually enjoy going shopping. My twin and I, we love to go out and find out what the latest fashions are, mix and match things. So for me, I only buy clothing that I feel fashionable. That way, when I go through my closet and I'm trying to find something, I don't have any frumpy clothing that I'm just kind of like, uh, I probably should have worn something else. I rarely have anything. I have two sweatsuits and they're actually purchased from Walmart that I consider my running around outfits. And they're uh, top model sweatsuits. One is black and one is gray and they're like zip up. And even then, I'll still make them cute, put on a little lip gloss and some blush or something like that. But lately, the look that I'm wearing now, and I will do a tutorial on it, it's super simple. It's just my Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation, some blush, a little bit of contour, and then I just tight line and um, put on some mascara and lip gloss. And that's all I've been doing. And I've actually been getting a lot of compliments on it. And everyone's like, oh, your skin looks so glowy. You know, I just do minimal as opposed to doing nothing at all. That's The saying happy wife, happy life is definitely true, but it also goes for mother. If mom's not happy, no one else is going to be happy. At least in my household, that's true anyway. But it's just that health-wise, you want to make sure that you try to take care of yourself. It's so hard. I do it all the time. I feel like everyone else can get sick, but I'm not allowed to get sick because... If I do, who's going to take care of everyone else, including my husband? I tease my husband and I'm like, you know, you're like a fourth child. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of wives feel like that. But um, definitely make sure that you find that time. Find a time 
to handle work you know work is work try not to bring work home if you don't have to and as far as a wardrobe for a mother or a glam mom or a domestic diva like myself I just try to find things that make me feel good at all times try not to buy frumpy clothing even when it's that time of the month and you don't feel so nice just try to find something with a little bit of extra stretch in it um that way you still feel cute you feel fashionable and you feel comfortable stay away from the mom jeans so-called mom jeans and things like that and anytime you go shopping just try to find things that always make you feel good that brighten up your mood that make you feel happy to wear it and same thing with your makeup set your makeup and your outfit out the day before set the children's outfits out the day before plan your ha hairstyle accessories everything that way it'll save you time in the morning same thing with cooking try to do it ahead if you can cook enough so that you'll have leftovers me like i said fortunately i have a husband who enjoys cooking so i kind of got lucky in that aspect but as far as the cleaning yeah i'm kind of the 90% of the time I'm doing it but my my husband does help when he whenever he is home but he really does work a crazy schedule um make some time for yourself be it early early in the morning before the children get up or late at night when they go to bed like I'm doing right now making this video <laughs> just try to find that time to do things that make you happy and make you enjoy life because it's so easy to go through your mother lifestyle and you're really much probably doing the same thing from day to day and it does get tiresome after a while you will get frustrated and you're going to have moments where you feel like you just need to go in a room and cry if you need to so be it who's going to know about it you know and try to surround yourself with positive people me i can share a lot of stories about some things that i've went through and it's not always the best but you know, you're going to have people around you who may not be so supportive and you need to start getting those people out of your life. Being a mom of a child or multiple children is an extremely hard job. People do not give mothers all the credit. It's kind of like you do your job and that's it. But being a mom is one of the hardest jobs you'll ever take on. And give yourself a pat on the back even if no one else does. Luckily, I have a lot of supporters. And trust and believe, when I get comments and emails from you guys, it really does give me that extra pep and that extra oomph to get me through the day at times. And you might not even know it. But you guys definitely inspire me. And I get told all the time that I inspire you. But trust me, you guys inspire me and help me to keep it going and and wanting to share things with you all and make it a lot of fun so you guys are my mommy time and i really appreciate you all and Taria or Taria, i hope i'm pronouncing it right i hope this gives you just a little bit of insight on how i do things i'll definitely make sure that i break the video down and get it more detailed but i just wanted you to have a summed up video of how I do things but I'll definitely be doing another one getting more in detail but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time have a gorgeous day doll smooches Mwah. bye